This will hit straight to your heart. The legend Judy Dench is thinking of retiring. Apparently her eyesight has gotten rough and it might be forcing her to step away from acting. A bummer, right? Although Judy is retiring early in our opinion, her legacy has already been etched in stone. The Oscar-winning actress inspired countless actors, entertained millions of fans, and created characters that would no doubt live on forever in film. Her impact on the world is undeniable. Besides, you never know this may not be a goodbye. She may do it in some other form, voiceover acting or some production work. After all, it's Judy Dench we're talking about, one of the most resourceful and talented people out there. But we should keep in mind that her retirement will not take anything away from what she has done. We still have access to all our favorite Judy Dench movies, such as Spirited and her Oscar-winning film Shakespeare in Love. They make it pretty, they make it comical, or they make it lust. They cannot make it true. Oh, but they can. I mean, Your Majesty, they, they do not. They have not. I believe there is one who can. She deserves to rest, be with her loved ones, and enjoy life. After all the smile she brought us, wouldn't that be the best way for her to go out? Yeah, share the birthday. Are you September 25th? De December the 9th. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, the news about Judy Dench is a bummer for sure, but it also is a wake up call to move just a little bit more fiercely, to savor that good stuff a little more complicated and to chase those dreams that circle at the corners of our mind. All right, all right, enough of that. Here's some happy news to make up for the Judy Dench thing. Ryan Bingham and Hassey Harrison got married and it's the most iconic wedding you'll ever see. Ryan Bingham who plays Walker and Hassey Harrison who plays Laramie, the co-stars on the hit TV show Yellowstone went and got married for real this week after acting as a couple for so long in the show Yellowstone, they have honestly given the fans what they need because we loved watching them on screen together, and now they're married in real life. Who knows, they might even draw on real life inspiration with their characters for Yellowstone. And the wedding was no ordinary wedding. It was Texas themed and a black tie event. The whole shebang. It sounds to me like they went above and beyond to honor their love. All the reports say that it was beautiful and with a focus on creating a heartfelt experience for their closest friends and family. The pictures look like they had a blast at the after party as well. Hassie even wore a fringed cowboy hat. She leaned fully into the theme. So this is one of those feel-good stories. Two good actors found love and are sharing their love with people they love. Here's hoping they get happily ever after. And you know Beth from Yellowstone says it the best. Best in control of a woman. You know, if you're married to a piece of shit, it can be. But if you married the love of your life, the mirror to your soul, it's pretty fucking great. Who knows? Maybe they'll do the honor of giving us some pretty adorable Instagram posts as well. Did you see that viral video where Kylie Kelts went head to head with a fan in Margate awkward much? Middle of the street. You are. I'm never be allowed in this house. No. You'll never be allowed in this house. Word on the street is that Kylie and Jason were on a date night over the Memorial Day weekend when this whole thing was going down. From the video, it appears that a fan got a little too excited about wanting to get a picture. Things got heated and Kylie was not afraid to let people have it. I mean, to be fair, she handled it like a pro. She just stood her ground, cooled her jets, and even commented on how drunk the poor fan was. Classic Jersey Shore vibes right here. Ever since then, the whole mess has gone viral, but well, we are talking about the internet here, and they love E! the drama, and we love it too. Even the Margate mayor got wind of it and publicly apologized to the Kelses. Can you believe that? He then says that he will make it up for them and have a redo date night on him. Talk about Jersey hospitality. I mean, honestly, what a mess. But it goes to show that even an NFL superstar's wife can't stay out of a bit of drama with the fans. More power to Kylie for sticking to her guns. And that apology from the mayor? Totally peak Jersey. Maybe they'll film the whole do-over date night for a reality show. Now that would be some entertainment. Enough of the drama. Let's switch gears and speak of some sweet nostalgia. Do you remember He-Man, the warrior man from Eternia? Madam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle... Well, guess what? There's a live-action movie of He-Man cooking up, and we finally got word on who'll be wielding the power sword in the process. Drum roll, please. It's our favorite rom-com heartthrob, Nicholas Galatine, letting go of purple hearts and the idea of you, and is now suiting up to be He-Man himself. Now, that's a dramatic turn. From a lovable lead in many a rom-com to a mighty warrior doing battle with Skeletor. Now, this is exciting news for Masters of the Universe fans, myself included. To almost any generation, the animated series and its cheesy tactic 80s movie are as profoundly etched into most childhood memories, just like my first appointment to the dentist. Who knows? Maybe this live action version will capture that same sense of adventure for a whole new generation. Besides, I must say, Nicholas Galatine is just filled with charisma and acting chops to ensure a convincing He-Man. But most importantly, let's be honest, the guy is so chiseled. Have you seen him without his shirt in those rom-coms? This guy is practically designed for this role. Of course, nothing is confirmed since the movie 
movie has not yet been released. But at least this is something. That's some sort of consolation to fans. Let's hope they do justice and give us a very epic and highly entertaining He-Man movie. Who knows, maybe Nicholas Galaxine will surprise all of us and it would become hard for us to not associate He-Man with Nicholas like they do with Patrick Bateman. What's his name again? Oh, Christian Bale. And speaking of nostalgia and comebacks, believe it or not, our girl Katy Perry... <laughs> Just snagged herself an eight-figure deal to play at a masquerade ball? Yes, I kid you not. It seems like our favorite pop queen is back in the business again. So a rich Ambani, one by the name Mukesh Ambani, is having Katie perform a pre-wed party bash for his son. Is it for Akash or Anant Ambani? Is it a confirmed performance or just a rumor with a hefty price tag attached? These are the questions everyone's buzzing. Naturally, the internet was set abuzz with those numbers and nobody cares if it's a rumor or not. One thing is for sure, if these stories are true, it will undoubtedly be some spectacle. The guest list, the decorations, the general vibe. We can only imagine what masquerade ball thrown by the Ambanis would be like, with Katy Perry as the entertainment. It almost feels like it's out of a Bollywood movie. Well, stay tuned to this story for more details. And who knows, maybe Katy Katy Perry will show up sparkled out in some glossy sequined mask and blow everyone away with her performance. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like this video.